Hey guys, and welcome back to the Cobra's Den. Tonight, we're gonna discuss the good and bad points about fractional gold, if there are any good points. But as you watch the video, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Gold Cobra and welcome back to the Cobra's Den. Guys, once again, I want to thank you first of all uh, for all the great responses, the subscriptions and the comments I've received. Um, people are really getting involved in conversations, which is great. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Okay, and going back to my last video, if you remember, if you have seen it, we were looking at this little guy here. And we were trying to think of a name for him. Uh, so we've had a couple of names. We've got Venom, Cobra Kyle, and Jackson. So what we're going to do, we're going to ask you guys tonight, give him a name, and by the next video, he will be given that name. So in the comments below, whack in a name for this guy. He will be with us on every video. And we have a new friend over here. This is our security duck, and he's here to take care of our gold and silver. So, uh, don't know. Don't know. Should we name him? Nah. He's nameless. So we'll just leave him as he is. So that's our little security duck there. Say hello. So tonight, we're going to talk about fractional gold. And is there any point to having it? Um, a lot of people will basically tell you to stay well clear. The premiums are too high and it ain't worth it. But before we start that, I have received a coin today. It's a massive coin. So we're going to open that up and have a look at it first. So this coin was a spur of the moment coin. Don't really like the way I'm holding that knife. Eh? Anyway, this coin was a spur of the moment coin from, uh, I bought it from the Silver Forum. And uh, I bet I'm going to pronounce his name out wrong now. It's uh, Salacious, I think. I'll have to check on that one. But a really nice guy on the Silver Forum. Uh, very helpful. And uh, yeah, he's put up this massive coin. So we're going to open it up and take a look. Yeah, it's, oh, it's big. It's big. Oh, hang on. Bit like pass the parcel here, hang on. Okay, we will get there. And yeah, I actually told a little fib there. It is a bit of fractional gold. So this is an Isle of Man um, angel. Don't know if you can see that very well. I'll bring it right up. There we go, Isle of Man angel. And this is one twentieth of an ounce of gold. And this is what we're here to talk about tonight. Fractional gold. And is it worth it? This is now the smallest piece I have in my stack. So everyone says stay away from fractional gold and why are they telling us to do that? And well, there's a very good reason. For instance, this here, uh, as we've seen many, many times, is a one ounce Britannia, one troy ounce, 31.1 grams of pure gold. At the time of making this video, Spot price was approximately £1,554. Now, for this, at the moment, you're probably going to pay about £100 or £125 over spot. Okay, so that is the premium on this. This is a sovereign. 7.32 grams, I believe, of pure gold. 22 carat but the actual pure content 
7.32 grams. So that is fractional gold. And it is basically just under a quarter uh, of an ounce. Holding that upside down. There we go. So that's just under a quarter of an ounce. And that is a sovereign. Now, sovereigns are very popular. Um, they sell very well. Uh, they're very fluid. And so not a bad bit of fractional coin. So if I said, let's say for instance, my budget was, I don't know, 500 pound a month. Uh, at the moment, I could easily pick up a sovereign for that. Um, and if I wanted to, within three months, I could pick up a Britannia. And if I said my budget was about 1,500 pounds uh, a month, I could easily pick up a one troy ounce gold coin. Now, if it went up to two and a half grand, would I be able to afford that every month? No, probably not. But if I put the money in the bank, <clears throat> I put a grand and a half in the bank every month, uh, I don't know if it would stay in the bank. Uh, I'm not the best person at saving. And a lot of people aren't. And so you might end up finding that actually you don't get those ounces because uh, you keep spending your money. Would it then be better to buy fractional gold? Yeah, for me it would. But we have to talk about the sizes. The smaller you go, the bigger premium and the less gold you're getting for your money. So... If I could, you know, if gold went up to two and a half grand, that means a half ounce would be one, two fifty, no, one three fifty, something like that. Um, and I could probably do that a month. So then I'd go for sovereigns or a half ounce. Would I really, would I go for something like that at any point at all? The answer for me personally, is 100% not. The premiums are way too high. But in saying that, if some of you young'uns are only able to put away £100 a, a month at the moment, then I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea. I would say don't go under a tenth of an ounce. Um, think about it see what you feel but i wouldn't go under a temp i think the premiums are way high i have bought this 120th um and i was having a, a laugh with uh, uh if i get his name wrong he's, he's gonna be really pissed off at me but um soul cheers soul cheers anyway from the silver forum um i was having a laugh about it with him i wouldn't normally buy it but i thought it would make a good video and it'll be well worth getting to show you what fractional coins are so I do think there is a use. I think there's going to come a time where people aren't going to be able to afford to buy a full ounce in one go. Um, and then they are going to think about buying fractional gold and then changing it up as time goes on. So they'll buy their bits of fractional gold. They'll sell it when they've got enough of it and immediately buy a one ounce uh, 24 karat gold coin. That, to me, would be a bit uh, a good way of doing it. You may it may cost you a little bit more over time but you'll definitely start collecting it so that's my theory on it that's what i think let me know in the comments what you think uh, some people may say don't ever do it don't ever buy fractional uh, me myself yeah i'm not overly keen on it but i reckon there are going to be times when you may have to do that and i don't think they're that far off for a few of us well, as you know, I'm based in the UK, um, but I want to thank everyone in uh, the United States. And I've now got a couple of follows in Australia, uh, one in Russia. And, you know, it's, it's just, it's quite humbling that people are watching this from all over the world. Um, and I really, really do appreciate that. So I am going to put a couple of links, one there, one there. And one there, I reckon. Um, so please like, share and subscribe. And the other two links will be videos that I've previously done. Have a look at them if you haven't seen them before. This is the Gold Cobra signing off from the Cobra's Den.
Thank you very much.